Russell Abrahams, who's better known as Ye Abe, is a Cape Town-based illustrator and art director. With the subject of inclusivity being important core concept for Ye Abe, his recent body of work that has been installed at the VNA waterfront in the mother city follows suit. The art installation captures a stylish woman of color as the hero figure. And to tell us more about this, Ye Abe joins us now via Zoom. Ye, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Morning, morning. Thank you so much for having me. It's an absolute pleasure, man. Good to have you the, uh, join us this morning. Let's start with your love for illustration. When did you know that this is what you were meant to do? Um, I think it all like started at a very young age. Uh, probably a lot of doodling and drawing back in like grade nine. And um, yeah, I just kind of got obsessed with it. And, and I kind of decided that this is what I wanted to do when I grew up. Mm -hmm. So I guess fast forward like 12 years and I get to work as an artist full time. Okay, now talk to us about uh, where you draw inspiration from your work. Uh, it's definitely, I think, from like the people I meet and, and the things I see around Cape Town. So my work is like, it's very vibrant and um, I try to like represent people of color as best as possible. So um yeah, I guess it's really just people-based and, and trying to share those stories with everyone else. Mm. Now, your current art installation, Russell, is titled A Lady Named Stella. Speak to us more about this project. Who is Stella? Uh, what, what's her story? Cool. So, um, I think when I was approached to work on this project with uh, Stella Artois, the, the thing I wanted to do and the, the piece I wanted to create was... Um, to kind of create a piece that, that isn't just like a stereotypical male figure drinking a beer, right? Mm. And because um, I guess that that's like the norm. So I, I just thought like, okay, cool. Like, why not draw just like a woman of color um, in the situation and kind of just make that like the hero image. And uh, it's something I was like, I'm quite passionate about in terms of just like, I guess when it comes to like inclusivity and representation. So um, that, that was definitely like my, my main thought process going through this project. What was going through your mind as you were conceptualizing this particular design? I mean, there's issues of gender, there's issues of, you know, race. Did those concepts come into mind as you were going about conceptualizing it? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, someone once told me that like my work is like, inherently political and inherently like just like African art, I guess. So um, I think when, when conceptualizing this, uh, I, would, I just wanted to like really show like a person of color, a woman of color in like a good light. And, and it's just like the strong like black woman just enjoying herself and having a beer. So um, yeah. I, I guess when brands like Stella Toi like allow artists to kind of just create the work they want, it always... It's always magic, I guess. Mm. And I suppose it's breaking all stereotypes because, uh, you know, it's been traditionally accepted that uh, men uh, are associated with beer and women with wine or ciders. So I suppose this body of work will now break those stereotypes. Let's talk about your studio and how it sort of strives to highlight people of color and becoming one of the most prominent pop culture voices in South Africa. <laughs> yeah, um... So I, I started Ye yeah, Abe about like five years ago, and it's it's just because like there there weren't many people I guess that looked like me working in the industry and working in illustration, and it's um, something I tried to kind of push, and it was it's been like a tough journey, but I think the last like two years has definitely been rewarding. Um, I get to work with like a lot of young people of color that perhaps maybe didn't have the opportunities. Um, growing up so i try my best to kind of like take what i've been given and kind of like feed that back into the next generation because i think um as time goes on we or as time is going on we like we're seeing like mm. just like young people owning the industry and and doing what they love and do best yeah and speaking of uh, young people owning the industry what would you say are some of the challenges that they face in art especially uh, those in illustration um, I think it's just like getting work. 
and it's like it's right. a really like right. it's a it's a really tough uh, industry, I guess, and it's a slow industry that you kind of have to you work on one project and you move to the next, and hopefully the right people see it. Hopefully you end up on Morning Live, mm, <laughs> so, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's um, yeah, I guess it's just like a patient game um, that takes time. No, you're quite right there. I mean, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, there's an overabundance of art and talent, but getting the work out there becomes a major challenge and a huge stumbling block for so many young artists, and they end up falling, you know, within the cracks. So, Russell, as people are passing by at the VNA waterfront and uh, looking and admiring and viewing your work, what is it that you want them to talk about? What are uh, some of the conversations that you're hoping they will spark as a result of just viewing your work? Yeah, um, I think firstly, I, I just want people to kind of look at my work and, and get this like sense of joy and just like overall happiness. And um, I think then the, the next thing is like looking at the art form that was used. And I guess for the first time in South Africa, we used like pure malt and trying to turn it into like pure art. So um, I think the nice part about this installation and piece of work is that people can kind of like walk up and touch the malt and kind of look at it from different angles and, and I guess just like appreciate the craftsmanship. Um, I really put my blood, sweat and tears into this project and it's, um, yeah, it's been an amazing journey and forever grateful to my family over at Stella. Mm. And what feedback have you been receiving from those that have had the pleasure of coming across your work? Um, yeah, I think a lot of people have been uh, kind of like just super proud of me to to see that work living in that kind of space. Um, I think the, the amount of people that walk through the waterfront every day is uh, just mind blowing. So, um, yeah, a lot of people have been encouraging and, and just like overall happy for me. And I I'm just glad I could kind of share my work with such a massive audience. Now, Russell, you said earlier on that your work is largely political. Is that what you're focusing on, though? Is that your core mandate? Um, um, no, not, not really. I guess, I, um, I guess what I was saying earlier was that my work is like inherently political as like a person of color creating, okay. creating work. But um, yeah, I, I guess I do dabble every now and then in, in kind of trying to, to share a good message or like the right message. But it's definitely not, it's not, not my main focus, but it's, uh, it's something that's, I guess, always in the back of my mind. Okay, Russell, we're out of time, unfortunately. Thank you so much for joining cool. us. And how are you reachable? Do you have a studio, perhaps, that, that uh, people can visit to view your work? Yeah, uh, it's, I'm mainly on Instagram, so that would be on screen right now, uh, at yay Abe. And yeah, all my work's up there. And yeah. All right. Awesome. Yay Abe. Great chatting to you, man, and all the best. Cool. Thanks, bro. Have a good one. You too, man. Thank you. That Thank was Ye Abe. He's an illustrator and art director based in Cape Town. He's just joined us for a conversation about his career and the latest art installation called A Lady Named Stella.